what's up guys welcome back to lion mac tv mac here with another exciting delighting and much interesting video here on the channel anyway this one is actually it's mind-blowing and it's surprising it's it's something that i i feel i feel very disturbed to see to, to talk about but i think i just have to talk about it and yes it's about ike query Mado, you know some days back he actually posted a video surface online where he was saying that p2b cannot rule nigeria and at the same time that um the east and the south south should just focus their attention and vote um pdp in the forthcoming election now in just few days after today exactly today this particular news is actually coming up and it's really really disturbing now this is the headline court denies ike query madu and wife bill bill applications review the victim is a 15 year old homeless boy now ike query madu and the wife were actually arrested for child trafficking like taking a child to the uk to harvest the child's organ and i'll be reading this from um instablog niger that's the source where i'm actually reading this from now court denies senator ike query Madu and wife bill application review the victim is a 15 year old homeless homeless boy from lagos the oxbridge magistrate court has denied former deputy senate president ikikwere madu and wife beatrice bill application after they were charged for bringing a child to the uk for organ harvesting according to arise news the court denied their bail application and the case was adjourned till 17th july arise news reports that the prosecution revealed that the alleged victim is a homeless 15 year old boy who was brought to the uk by mr and mrs ike kuremadu from the streets of lagos recall that the metropolitan police in a statement on thursday said that beatrice Wanneka, ike kuremadu and ike kuremadu were charged to court on thursday following an investigation by the first specialist crime team the police added that the investigation was launched after detectives were alerted to the potential offenses under modern slavery legislation in may 2022 the statement read in part beatrice one nigger ike Kore Mado, 55 of nigeria is charged with conspiracy to arrange plus facilities travel of another person with a view to exploitation namely organ harvesting Ike Kure Madu, 60 of Nigeria, is charged with conspiracy to arrange plus facilitate travel of another person with the view of the view to exploitation, namely harvesting. This is what is actually coming in at this moment, you know, and it's very, very disturbing. It's really disturbing because a deputy Senate leader being in a scandal like this and with the sources of this news this is not actually something that looks like someone is trying to blackmail another it's actually a real fact that everyone has to look into well everybody say most politicians hands are not clean i think now most of us need to believe anyway share your thoughts here as we move on to the next news here i come from the, the southeast i can assure that southeast will vote for pdp can guarantee that no doubt um, Peter is our, is our son, but we need to be dynamic. We ask ourselves, can Peter win the presidential election? Can the East afford to throw away their votes? Can we afford to be sentimental in matters that concern, concern our, our, our people and our children and our future? The answer is no. So we don't intend to do a thing which we will regret in the future. So why we believe that Peter is every politician? This one is actually a little bit funny here. And trust me, I think we should not just show up ourselves at all time if you if you are um should i say uh herbalist uh whatsoever you are i think you should respect that um profession and just dress in that particular profession not adding additional things you know i'm not saying possessing powers or having powers or whatsoever i want anybody wants to worship is bad all i'm saying is keep those powers to yourself 
when you go back to your abode, you can, you know, practice it there and worship it there. Anyway, what's your comment in the comment section about this particular story? He was spotted dressed in his, um, according to them, they say his Olokon priest attire. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong. I'm not from Yoruba, so uh, I find it difficult to pronounce that. There was mind drama at the Supreme Court, Abuja, on Thursday as a Lagos-based human rights lawyer, Malcolm, I cannot pronounce that Yoruba name, please, cause a stir in the courtroom when he appeared in the full traditional attire of an Olokon priest to attend court proceeding. Malcolm, who said he dressed to court in that manner to exercise his fundamental right following the judgment of the supreme court that allows all nigerians to express their way of worship and the use of hijab in schools and public places recall that the supreme court had on friday given approval to female muslim students to wear hijab to school in lagos lagos state and five out of seven members of the court panel which sat on the case ruled in favor of hijab while the two remaining members dis dissented the lawyer who arrived at the court at about 9:05 a.m created a scene in the courtroom when other lawyers who had been seated were taken by surprise to see him robbed in his traditional attire to look like an herbalist the lawyer who gained entry into the court was barefooted with feathers attached to his wing he was also wearing a gown on his neck on his necklace with carries and a red wrapper tied around his wrist he dared the police officers and security guards who approached him to go out saying that he was he has a right to come to court in his traditional regalia without any harassment in line with the judgment malcolm who dressed journalist said i am very grateful to who addressed journalist said i am very grateful to the supreme court just last week friday they made a very resounding decision that promotes section 38 of the constitution that is our right to freedom of thought conscience and religion that we are free to express our way of worship in our schools and in our courts that decision was reached on friday and that had, that has encouraged me because i am a traditional traditionalist and this is the way i worship based on the decision of the supreme court this is how i'll be attending um, i'll be dressing henceforth to court because i am a strong adherent this is Olukon, the God the of America. anyway i'll in be the playing you the Nigeria. video this is how you are right? in it's court. really amazing how and he, he could come out boldly in he had a, a nice the court appearance myself. you know considering the fact that yes <laughs> what he did is right hindrance. if you can actually be allowed this to wear a hijab dress anyhow you want to dress as a muslim This is Chief Malcolm E. Omiribo in the Supreme Court of Nigeria. This is how he appeared in the court. And he, he had a, a nice appearance <laughs> without little hindrance. <laughs> this is portion to the newest Supreme Court judgment that lawyers can now appear on their on their, on their traditional attire and, to, and today chief decided to practicalize it congratulations chief
Congratulations. Thank you.